Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Hope everybody's having a good day right now. My name is uh, Jeremy Di Sarasso, and I've been looking into stocks and everything ever since I was young, and now I've made my way into the crypto market. So I actually wanted to talk to you guys about that, explain a little bit of everything that's going on right now, and personally what I have or will invest in, all right? And just to clarify, I am not a financial advisor, all right? Everything I say is just my personal opinion and maybe what I'm possibly doing, all right? So if you guys are going to do anything, do it at your own risk. I'm not a financial advisor. All right. So now let me explain a big misconception people have, all right? Just about everything, about everything in, the, in stocks and crypto. All right, the reason why things go down. All right, so why do things go up? Because people put their money into it. A lot more people are putting money in something than they are taking it out, and that's why it goes up in stocks and in crypto. Right, so that also means that if there's a lot more people taking out their money, right, then it's going down. Right, that's exactly how it works. All right, I want you to think about something real quick. Right? You think of somebody who doesn't know too much about crypto. They just know a little bit. What is the first number one coin that they think of right off the top of their head? You guessed it. I, I don't even have to say it. We all know what it is. It's right here. It's Bitcoin. It's the biggest, the most popular, the most world known. It's almost household at this point. Right? And now look. Everybody in their heads, all these sheeps that are investing who don't know what the fuck they're doing, who are following all these fucking gurus, whatever the fuck that means, right? They really believe that if Bitcoin goes down, everything else will. And you know what causes everything else to go down? It's because of that belief. The belief that, oh, Bitcoin's going down. Everything else is going to go down. Let me take out my money. And it's just literally spread out throughout everybody. And the act of them taking out their money... And having a lot less people put money into it, even though it's a product that maybe you believe in or you know it's going to do well or you know that's exactly what's going to happen. So I'm going to tell you how to invest like a lion and not like a sheep, like these people who take out their money because Bitcoin went down. But because now we know that since all these sheep are just following the trend and just taking out their money, if Bitcoin drops, right, then you know what moves to make. You can read it very well. You know, if Bitcoin drops, everybody else is going to pull out. So you do the same and then you buy back when it's low. Right now, at this moment, is the best time to buy right now. Majority of things. Because everything is down. You know? But you also got to do your own research. You got to see maybe you should wait a little bit or buy. You know? For me, personally, these are top three metaverse cryptos that I'm going to tell you about. I'm going to invest for the long run. And to me, the long run is the next two, five years. So these are coins that regardless of whether I buy them today, tomorrow, a week ago, I know their value, their future value, their possible future value. And let me tell you why, right? Do you guys have any idea how big the gaming industry is? It's huge. Of course, everybody has heard of games unless you live under a rock, right? Okay. Did you know that the gaming industry has a market cap of 170 billion, something like that? Right? Now wait. The metaverse is going to be much bigger. Could you think of any reason why? Of course not. But that's why you're here. Don't worry. Uh, it's because it has more than one use. It's not just gaming. And this is something I will put my life down on. We will be having meetings for companies in the future. Instead of through Zoom or Skype or whatever bullshit you use. It's going to be through the metaverse. Yep. You're really going to be able to sit down with somebody, talk to them, and have a full meeting as if you were there. Facial expressions and everything. Facebook is already working on it. Well, Meta, if you've heard about it. Facebook has actually rebranded their name to Meta, and they're working into getting into this industry just to show you how big this is if you're new to this. Right? Okay. Now that you know kind of like the basics that I really was trying to set you guys up for, right? I'm going to show you the top three metaverse tokens that I am investing into in the long run. And right now, with all the prices dropping, I would say it's a good time to buy, right? You guys know how it works. 
buy low, sell high, unless you're a fucking retard and you buy high, sell low. You know, unless you can't control your emotions and you get all fidgety and like, oh no, uh, uh, it, it dropped, I gotta sell. But if you know what you're doing, if you're lying, you don't gotta worry about anything. All right, so let me tell you. The number one, this one, to me, I feel like it's gonna be a very good one. UFO Gaming, it's got good things coming. Uh, they're working on something else called UFO Geese right now. Uh, right now it dropped to pfft, almost, let's check. In the past month, it dropped from 54 to what it's now, 20. So it dropped more than half. Look at this. Pretty new, only a market cap of half a billion, right? In an industry of the metaverse who hasn't even reached its potential market cap of the gaming industry, which is 170 billion, right? The metaverse is going to be worth hundreds and hundreds of billions. Just because of its utility. It's not just for gaming. It's not just for, for fun, for games. It, it's also going to be used for businesses. Right? And also advertisements. Because people are even buying in-game land. And it's selling for millions of dollars. Can you believe that? I can because it's happening. It's been happening with other games where people buy hundreds of dollars worth of game skins. Pixels. For hundreds of dollars. So this is not a new concept. This is just resurfacing to the mainstream, right? It's not under the iceberg anymore. It's going to reach the top, right? Whether you want to come with it or not, that's your decision. I'm choosing to go because I'm not staying here at the bottom. Sorry, guys. You know? But uh, UFO has a lot of promise the way they're developing it. It's a dark metaverse that they self-proclaim dark metaverse, right? It's going to be a game. It's a blockchain game play to earn type game i personally like it i have ufo right and i will stake them because if you stake them you can get plasma points and plasma points will allow you to buy these nfts that are in the game which are early access so this is something to get in on right now we even have 154,000 people having this on their watch list all right so this is up and coming right but personally this is a long term right it's 233 all right it's still got a lot of time a lot of market cap and can grow right has 25 trillion tokens all right it does have a lot right but with the popularity that it should gain in the following years in the following months you know i can't tell you an exact date it's definitely gonna rise 100 percent. this is one of my top right the next one that i recommend right, is Blocktopia. Blocktopia, to me, I feel like is going to be one of the big metaverses. They're actually partnered with KuCoin. And if you don't know what KuCoin is, it's, a, it's actually a platform where you can buy different cryptos like Blocktopia, Cryo War, a couple other things, right? But they're huge. They're huge. KuCoin is huge. And they actually have an office inside of Blocktopia. Blocktopia is just a metaverse consisting of like 21 floors. It's going to be a skyscraper, right? And they did 21, right? For a specific reason because of the 21 million Bitcoin, all right? But this is a promising project. Um, I've heard they partner with some influencers like Jake Paul. Uh, market cap is 600, 630 million, you know, has a lot of room to grow. Fully diluted, it would be 15 billion, but because of not all the tokens are out yet, it's not. You know, but it has the possibility of getting there, right? Um, 231, right? Just above UFO, which I was talking about. And it's on 250,000 watch lists, right? This is something pretty early right now. And it's cheaper because it just went down due to the Bitcoin drop. So go away. But I'm buying at the dips, right? And then selling at the highs. And then rebuying, right? But keeping a big portion of it still if I'm doing that because I don't want to miss out on a huge jump just in case it happens because that's one of the biggest mistakes people make when they're, you know, buying and selling at the lows and highs. You know, they don't stay, they don't leave a position and it shoots up because of some news and, you know, they lost it. You know, because they were trying to get greedy and try to get more and more. That's why I leave the majority of my portfolio in when I'm doing that. All right? You know, that's a little strategy, strategy that I personally use on my own. Now, I don't want to waste anybody else's time, right? So the last one we're going to do, right? The last one I'm personally really, really just wowed by, 
thrown back, I feel is going to be a very, very, very big player in the future of the metaverse, right? I don't know. You might have not heard of this. Uh, it's called Spin Top. It's very, very far in the rankings. It's 3,364, right? Only 11,000 watch list, you know? Uh, it's pretty good, right? It just came out not long ago. Uh, it was at like around 14 cents when it came out. Uh, when it came out on IGO, it was super cheap. Like every BUSD would have gotten you 100 if you got on it early in the IGO, right? Which is, you know, it's kind of like you're investing into it before they come out. That That's what an IGO is, right? Uh, but this one, this one to me is going to be very big because, for example, right? You guys know what Steam is? Maybe not. Maybe some of you do, you know. But if you're not very computer game tech type guy, right? You're not going to know what Steam is or type gal. You're not going to know what Steam is. Steam is actually a platform that allows users to buy games. Um, it has a marketplace where you can buy skins, you know, which is kind of like not, not NFTs. But, you know, it will become where you can buy NFTs. I don't know if Steam is going to do it personally, but just in the future market for it, right? But you can buy game skins, right? For real money, you can buy games and you have a list of your games and you can launch them from there, right? That's what Steam is. Steam is an application on your computer. What SpinTop is going to be, right? S-P-I-N, uh, is it's literally going to be virtually a hub like Steam, a gaming hub where you can buy games, check them out, see the description, see what they, you know, and then be able to buy them and launch them, right? That's what SpinTop practically is, okay? It came out to the market at like around 14, right? It shot up all the way to like 38. Here, let me see. It shot up all the way to like 30, yeah, you see, 38. Right, and then right now because of the whole Bitcoin thing, it's back down to sixteen cents. I don't know about you guys, I'm certainly buying at these dips, because to me in the long run, it does look it doesn't even have like a, a market cap, and if all the coins right now were on circulation, it would only be worth one hundred sixty-seven thousand. I mean million, one hundred sixty-seven million, which is nothing practically for something with huge potential like this. But before you guys invest, obviously, do your own research. You guys don't want to be jerk-offs, right? Do your own research. making Make sure that you're looking into these companies, making sure they're legit. These are three metaverse cryptos that I personally looked into, right? And that's why I'm not really taking them down to detail with you guys. I want you guys to do your own research and make your own choices, right? Because I'm, I'm not a crypto guru, right? I'm not here to tell you. All right. Oh, guys, invest in this at this time, invest in that at that time. I'm telling you what I'm doing, right? Because I don't follow the herd. I just watch what the herd is going to do, right? And I make my moves based on that. And I make my money based on that. Now, what you do is on you. You know, I'm just enlightening you guys with what's going on right now. And these are my three personal, really potential, you know, high ranking cryptos. For the future right so i hope you guys learned something from today my name is jeremy lee sarasso don't forget it i'll be seeing you guys around thank you for sticking around if you guys watched the entire video and i hope you got some type of knowledge today and i hope you learned something all right take care guys